Last week at Talladega Super Speedway, we saw a chaotic race that ended up with many drivers being a lap down and we already saw Avery Alford winning in dramatic fashion. This week we are going at the Desert Phoenix Raceway for the 23rd race of the 2023 PSRLA Cup Series season and the 8th race of the pl of the 2023 playoffs. This is the Circle K500 from Phoenix Raceway. Hello everyone, this is uh, Herjel over the Lawn Support the Tourist 7 Network. We are live at Avondale, Arizona for some dram uh, dramatic fashion. It's gonna be interesting, it's gonna be tasty, whatever you call it. So we are right here right now, Phoenix Raceway. This is interesting as uh, we are heading for the first time here at as a uh, phoenix race of course but yeah we really hope that this re this race will create some dramatic fashion here so uh, here are the drivers that we have to talk about so meanwhile pole sitter is uh, jane russell currently sixth in the playoff standings well well, he has one win in his record at, at winning at Darlington earlier in the season. Well, he's currently 21 points behind, so winning the poll actually gave him an, an advantage. But let's see if he can actually keep that with 60 with and with 61 laps, I believe. Yeah, 63 laps of racing here at at um, Phoenix. So let's see if he can make it true. Here we go. So Reggie Fogelman is another driver that on we are on focus for today. Well, Reggie Fogelman, who's right there at the back here, just uh, in the middle. Well, he's currently holding the points lead after some mi mishaps from our drivers with the likes of Bradley Ream, Tony Brady, and uh, Kirian Jimenez. But at least Aver Alford with it, with his win last week. Uh, making him back into the fight but who knows if we're going to see that again if he, he can actually make some domination so who knows and the last driver on focus right now is Nathan Stapleton Nathan Stapleton is uh, literally quiet all season long but he doesn't have any wins yet but he quietly entered playoffs along with tr with Brady and Jimenez also winless this season and Anjay Nicole as well is was all also winless this season but they made their their names for their themselves let's see if who knows if even if they fail to win who knows if one of them might actually make history as uh, as being a uh, champion without even winning race so let's get let's get back on track here uh, so we are looking at the point standings here we go well again as mentioned earlier Reggie Fogelman is your points leader with 2160 points towards the championship well he already had two wins in his name with wins from Indianapolis that secured him in a playoff spot and then and uh, Richmond as well pulling away from from Bradley Ream and others Avery Alford after his last week's win at Talladega put him in second in standings but just three points behind Bradley Ream one race at one three races all of which are in Florida well he has eight points behind Tony Brady with the ten top tens along with Kirin Jimenez but Brady is ahead with 9 points behind and Jimenez 14 points behind Jane Russell as mentioned our pole sitter 21 points behind Angel Gutierrez 32 points behind Benny Moore 37 points behind Anthony Nicole 54 points behind Nathan Stapleton 56 points behind Eric Monaco 63 points behind and Josiah Robinson 100 points behind the uh, bell here well, here's the thing. If after this race and Josiah Robinson failed to barge into around 82, let's just say 90 points behind, well, he's officially eliminated from the championship contention. So that that's uh, that's a factor that we're looking for. So 
here we go looks like it's a sign for us to roll up here and check the standings or check the starting lineup showing your screens on your left side so on the poll here is the number 52 of Jane Russell uh, as mentioned he's, he's by the way the highest playoff driver in the field right now and he has like around you know, I don't know, 6 in standings right now alongside him is Drew Webb in the number 13 for time period racing last 3 races for him for the team before he moves into Drag from Raising Air Prizes Row 2 sees Kyle Sharp Road America winner and alongside of him is the number 20, 71 of Brandon Bill Row 3 sees Perpshire Shrirastava alongside him is another playoff driver in the field Anthony Nichol Row 4 do have the number 3 of uh, Tyron Pardon. Alongside him is the number 88 of Dale Johnson the second. Row 5 do have the number 9 of Lance Smith Jr. Alongside him is the number 82 of Jonah Bridge. Let's see the other playoff drivers in the field here. Well, Eric Monaco currently starting 11. Kitty Nimena starting 12. Well, Nathan Stapleton starting 15th. Avery Alford starting 19th. Tony Brady 21st, 22nd here is Reggie Fuggeman 24th, Angel Gutierrez as the pace car already came in. So we're just waiting right now here, well 63 laps of action here at, at the uh, Phoenix Raceway here in Avondale, Arizona as we cross to the restart zone. Here we go, green flag is now in the air here at Phoenix Raceway for the running of the Circle K 500. Lap 1 led by Jaden Russell here, but I didn't really expect that the uh, rest of, that we are going to see some three wide battles here, especially on 4 forts with Tyron Parton to the inside of Burbshire Stubb and Brandon Bill, and Brandon Bill shuffled out 4 wide here, Nathan Stapleton and Eric Drew, Anthony Nickel and Brandon Bill, but Nathan Stapleton back out, or else he might actually cause a crash here, so... Jane Russell clears the field who knows if he might be able to win the race it will help him boost his chances on winning the title. He is currently 6 in standings right now so if he's able to win he might actually boost his chance. Uh, con considering if like the rest of the field uh, does bad especially Reggie Fogelman. So next playoff driver right now Eric Monaco. Eric Monaco really need a good run here. He's currently running, uh, currently running seventh right now. Might actually pass for six, maybe, from Perv Shurstava. Well, Eric Monaco is currently 11 standings with 63 points behind. Really needs a good race here if he wants to, s he, if he wants to stay alive from the battle here. Speaking of which, Nathan Stapleton, hang around. Well, just right here in the outside lane. Well, he's currently running, I believe he is 11th. And might actually be passed for 11 by Matthew Hubert or Eric Drew. And as you can see right there, well, Matthew Hubert and Eric Drew almost made contact out there. So, good thing both these guys back off. So, or else they may actually be able to cause a crash here. As you're right, yeah, you're right now, like the the dogleg part isn't really uh, doesn't really give you much ad advantage over here. As uh, these guys are now single foul here with Jane Russell, Drew Webb, uh, Tara Pardon, Carl Sharp. Well, remember, Carl Sharp and Tara Pardon finished one two at Road America, so. If they'll be able to finish 1-2 again, who knows, they might actually swap positions, I don't know. Meanwhile, Lennon Smith Jr. with a surprise, currently running 5th. Pressure is running 6th, Eric Monaco still hanging around 7th, still looking for momentum to pass for, for the position. 
but let's see if he can actually get the uh, position going into turn number three well here it is right now Eric Monaco going into turn number four and the dog lag right now well at least he didn't literally use the dog lag for whatever reason but here we go Eric Monaco trying to get the position away from Pressure Taba. Here we go, he doesn't clear just yet out of turn number two. Looks like here we go at the back stretch or the former front stretch or the former start finish line. There's a caution. And I believe it's Brandon Bill, Cole Raymond, and Jonathan Carrison. And Jason Lona, I believe. And Jameson Tall looks like his race is over from here. Top race for the 62. He, his race is, is over right now so looks like these black and white cars are literally I didn't know well Jason Lona and Roberto Crown Jr. also in bulb I think I believe these guys actually may make contact I don't know I wasn't really sure where these guys uh, crashed out but I believe yeah I believe they made contact somewhere at the back but because where we the we're showing the the racing up front here, so with notes. But Cole Raymond, Roberto Crown Jr., I believe Gary Carroll is in the pits. So the number 50 of uh, Gary Carroll continuing to have a bad race. Or let's just say uh, he has a bad season in general. Well, he's, br he's literally the worst. Uh, Dragon Racing Enterprises car in the season. Roberto Ron Jr. retires from the race and look at that. Well, Carl Raymond's car coming out of uh, the pits. Well, this guy literally have a bad car like as you can see. Brandon Bill! He started fourth and he is right now right there in the back. And speaking of the back, he had his back removed. Jason Lona as well, you know. But first, let's see the replay to see what happened to bring out the first caution of the day. Here's the replay as you can see. Looking at the crash here, looks like Jonah Burridge, the culprit here. So right now, he's trying to go to the inside of Brandon Bill, spins him out. Trey Barton almost got involved here. And Cole Raymond hits... The number 71 of oh and collects Jonathan Carrison the 24 ooh there's a debris flying I believe it's from Roger Crown Jr. or Gary Carolay and then the 62 of Jameson Tall hits really hard here but plenty of drivers involved here especially uh, Jonathan Carrison and Robert uh, and Robert Crown Jr. both of these cars are like top break for this guy so the 62 as well after having an impressive debut game or debut race at Richmond well he is trying to hang around right there and then he's right there right now he's going to retire for the first time this season but there you go it is what it is for him so let's see the replay in real time so here's Jameson Tall right here going into the inside of Tom Stowan and then there John Burge created a uh, chain reaction of crashes here and then that involves you know the flying debris came from Jameson Tall so again top break for this guy so there we go so Jameson Tall having impressive first two races anyway here we go look looks like we have to go back into the track as we are closing into one to green we are back here at Phoenix Raceway for the running of the Circle K500, the 23rd race of the 2023 PSR Lake Cup Series season. As you can see, so far, Jaden Russell led every single lap here for Ryan to Run Incorporated. Well, Jaden Russell will move from Ryan to Run Incorporated into, uh, yeah, into Able More Sports for next season. He will replace Ludovic Charette as Ludovic Charette is going to Chaco Flag More Sports to replace Brennan Bill in the, in the newly room number number 82. But anyway, Jaden Russell, Drew Webb, Turner Parton, Kyle Sharp, and Lennon Smith Jr. your top five as we are coming into turn number three. Pace Carlos is already in. So, here we go. Going to the restart zone.
Green flag is back now in the air here at Phoenix Raceway as Jason Lonaco, Raymond, Brandon Bill are literally our, our slowest cars here. So they aren't going to be match up a factor here as... Oh, sorry about that as... Lennon Smith Jr. may actually get two positions in one turn. Coming out of turn number two, he might actually ter take 30, he would be able to pass Tyre Pardon, but here we go, three wide right there. Landon Smith Jr. will take third, going to the line. Here we go, they almost con made contact with, with his own teammate Kyle Sharp right there. Tony Brady is right here, three wide for third, still side by side battle. Drew Webb close, trying to close into Jaden Russell. Landon Smith Jr. clears. The 88 of Kyle Sharp is... No, 88 of Kyle Sharp. <laughs> Dale Johnson, the seconds right there, closing into... Trying to take Ford away from these two orange cars there. Well, battle for Ford for the orange cars and as caution is out again. This time it's Benny Moore in the number 68. So, he brought out the second caution of the day here. So here we go, these cars are now coming into the pits. They crash into the back stretch or the former start finish line. J Jason Lona stays out, Ella Baker stays out, Bradley Ream stays out, and Ludovic Toretta I believe stays out. So they are now pitting right here. Wait, I believe they're fast in the pit lane? I'm, I wasn't really sure. But looks like this the number 52 of Jane Russell and the 13 of Drew Webb made a, a synchronized stop, but looks like this 52 has some problems. No, he's going to take two tires. Drew Webb takes four. Drew Webb will be the second driver coming out, but this is going to be interesting. J if Jaden Russell... Yeah. If Jaden Russell takes two tires and the rest of the field takes four, is the strategy gonna pay off from Jaden Russell or is it? The number 13 of Drew Webb, he's right there in second, hang around. Tony Brady takes third, actually. Good, good stop for him. He's third coming out of the pits, but. Again, Ella Baker leads the race here, followed by Bradley Ream, then Ludwig Charat, Keith Drake. They are the only four lead lap cars that stayed out. So let's see the replay to see what happened to Benny Moore to bring out and uh, the to bring out the second caution of the day, as looks like Sam Adoskin having a bad race again. It's uh, your typical Sam Adoskin moments. I wasn't really sure if he's involved, but let's see the replay. Second caution of the race right here. Brandon Bill hitting the wall. I believe he's trying to hit the 82 of G of of J of Jordan Kerr, uh, no, John Burge, sorry. And then Benny Moore made contact. I believe that's the price you have to pay for, like the consequence. And ooh, Be Josiah Robinson. Looks like it's gonna be out of the content of championship contention after this race as he sustained some damage. Even Benny Moore as well. He's trying to I don't know. So let's see if the number 68 of Benny Moore can actually rebound for the last two races. But there we go. It's just a minor infraction by the way, so who knows? Anyway. I believe that's the only thing we have to see right now. Let's go back into the track side for con for the race again. We are coming back for the Circle K 500 at Phoenix Raceway. We are back here at Phoenix Raceway for the running of the Circle K 500 as we are coming to one to green here. Well, by the way, hear this <laughs> so Ella Baker stays out along with Bradley Ream, Ludovic Tourette and Keith Drake let's see if their strategy pays off right here but the front right there is Jason Lona is in the tail end of the lead lap so 
he's gonna uh, he's gonna be a factor along with Cole Raymond and might if they made it, they may be a reason for a big one I don't know I hope we there's nothing like that happened here but Ella Baker part-time driver going into Daniel Balls racing next season from Belgium Taking the lead here as we are coming back to green here along with Bradley Green, Ludovic Jarrett, Keith Drake, Jane Russell. Green flag is back in the air here at Phoenix Raceway for the running of the Circle K 500. And as you can see, these lap cars are literally. Ooh, for a while. We almost had four wide right here. But Seven Austin trying to get his lead. is going back into the lead lap. But they're side by side with Ella Baker. If he can put them in, in into a lap down again, or I don't know. But looks like Seven Thousand's going back to the lead lap. So if a caution comes out, and looks like Drew Webb using that advantage here right now. He's right there as Jane Russell right there in the back in fourth right now. Here it goes. Looks like we're going to have a new leader. With the number 13 of Drew Webb, he has help from his own teammate Matthew Hubert. Side by side for fourth here with Luke Tourette, Jaden Russell, and Len Smith Jr. And look who joins the fight. Nathan Stapleton in the number 79. Hasn't won a race and looks like he's trying to get his first win of the season. Along with Ella Baker of course and Drew Webb and Matthew Hubert. Now the teammates of Titan Fury are now 1-2. And looks like the number nine and looks like they are letting Samad Oskin pull away so that if there's a caution he would go back into the lead lap. But I think the number 99 is yeah, he's literally just came into the lead lap again. So here we go. Looks like Samad Oskin looking to have the race in his in his favor. He's go he's back in the lead lap. Meanwhile the team his teammates currently won two right now. Let's see if both of these guys are making some difference here. Well, there were no Time Fury racing cars in the playoffs. So, the number 13 of Drew Webb right now. Well, we all know he's been dominating the uh, the Wawa Cup series back in the AG the channel, but let's see if if this time he would he would he would dominate a race. Here at the PS Early Cup series. But meanwhile, Landon Smith Jr. pressurizing the 13 of Drew Webb right now. Closing into the 13 of Drew Webb. And Nathan Stapleton are out of here is out of here. Now clears for Ford as Ella Baker is right there hanging around in fifth pulling while while he's trying to hold on. Spark Sport does like Spark Sport uh, number zero one well. At first, Cameron Lazard, the former owner of Spark Sport, announces the, uh, that the uh, 01 will be closed after failing to secure a, uh, a charter for 2024 from the, from the uh, charter lottery. Looks like, looks like the new owner, Echo Evans Ross, Trying to bring back the number zero one, or maybe a new, newly renumbered car number. I don't know, but he's now being passed by Dale Johnson the second and Kirian Jimenez. Kirian Jimenez right there, currently running in eight or six now. Now trying to pass for fifth here as to the inside looks like he's coming back into the battle again. Well, Kirian Jimenez is 14 points behind, so if he would be able to close enough. He might be able to win. He would be able to get the points lead. But since Avery Alford is right inside the top 10. And he is ahead of Reggie Fogelman. Since Reggie Fogelman and Avery Alford is just 3 points gap. And uh, Avery Alford is like around 7 positions ahead right now of Reggie Fogelman. He is currently right now. As of this point, the points leader. Meanwhile, the number four of Matthew Hubert is out of here. Remember, Matthew Hubert literally wants to win a race. Well, he almost win at at Darlington. He led the last lap until he hit the wall, and number fifty-two of J Jane Russell was able to pass him into the inside line, uh, into the inside, and wins the race. 
and he is actually leading the homestead race before he blew his engine so let's see if this race would be finally be in his favor so the number nine of uh, Landon Smith Jr. in second. He is trying to get his second win of the season and trying to finish the season on a high note after failing to qualify into the playoffs by a huge margin, of course. Meanwhile, the number 13 of Drew Webb is just hanging around in third. If if Nathan Stapleton it would be able to pass him. Well, looks like Nathan Stapleton trying to close into the number 13. And now he's going through the in to the inside in out of turn number 2. Side by side between Nathan Stapleton and Drew Webb. Side by side again going into turn number 3. Let's see. Nathan Stapleton will more likely to take turn to the line. Nathan Stapleton would be able to clear. Yes, he will. The number 9 of Landon Smith Jr. still out of here trying to close into the number 4 of Matthew Hubert. We're almost halfway to the race here. Almost halfway into the race. Oh dear. Looks like uh, Matt Hubert literally have his race in his paper. And a moving chicane coming right up here. By the name of Brandon Bill, let's see if the number 99 of Landon, no, Simon Oskin would pass the 71 clearly, but let's see if the leader would be able to pass this set, to pass the 71 of Brandon Bill cleanly. So right now into the line, he's now coming to the inside and looks like he will clear. But, oh no, I thought Landon Smith Jr. might be held up. But it looks like he just passed cleanly and caution is out again. A Philip Torres this time. Philip Torres. Whatever. Philip Torres crashed out. And caution is back out again. So looks like the number four of uh, Matt Hubert cleanly clears. By the way, here we go. Coming back into the pit, so looks like here we go. Looks like mm, these guys are stopping again. So looks like a top race for the number 28 of Philip Torres. So let's catch into the number nine of Landon Smith Jr. So coming into ooh. I saw that. I'm not really sure if you guys saw it. Two playoff drivers of mm, no. Two playoff drivers of Kitty and Jimenez and uh, Nathan Stapleton collide. Looks like it's the num. It looks like the 79 of Nathan Stapleton will be in the pit for a while. Even Sam Oskin. I'm not really sure really what happened to Sam Oskin, but the 26 of Kitty and Jimenez. Collided with the number 79 of Nathan Stapleton. This will definitely affect Nathan Stapleton's chances of uh, finishing into the top 10. But did someone make a collision again? Well, not really sure. Ooh. Benny Moore, I don't know if this guy is a problem or he's just stopped for whatever reason. But I believe the pace car would be able to pass Benny Moore cleanly. Bradley Rim is in the pits still. I'm not sure if there's something happened into the 25 of Bradley Rim or it's just one of those days for him. Anyway, let's see the replay to see what happened to bring out the caution. And here you go, looks like we have to, these cars are stopping right there. So, let's see the replay to see what happened. Philip Torres, well, he's running real fine here until 
I don't know what's what went wrong with this engine. I don't know what's going on. He holds Eric Monaco, Ebek Sokolov, and John Bridge. He like all you have to do is just go down below the line so you won't have someone to ruin a race. But what this guy did is hold on so many drivers and ooh. Ludovic Tourette tried to avoid Abex Sokolov due to the stupidity of Philip Torres right there. And right there you go. As you can see, the 68 of Benimore is involved again. And there you go, the 44 of Ludovic Tourette is also involved, got spun out. But it is what it is for these guys. Anyway, let's see the replay in real time. Philip Torres is just running 14th here. Well, he's trying to go to the inside of... I thought he's just trying to go to the inside of Juana Barca. But his engine went... I don't know, man. Then Eric Ju... Ooh, hits Abex Sokolov real hard right there. But Ludovic Charette is expected to continue because it's just a minor... Minor damage. But the 60... But the 28 of Abex Sokolov... What are you doing, man? What the heck was that? Anyway, let, let's go back into the track for more action here, only at the 2023 PSRLA Cup Series. We are back to the uh, one, we are back in the track here as uh, Kyle Sharp went into another, went into another stop again. I'm not really sure what happened into the 94 of Kyle Sharp, but anyway. Ooh. Benny Moore also came out of the pits. So Matthew Obert will lead us down to the green. Followed by uh, the number 9 of Lennon Smith Jr. Then the number 13 of Drew Webb. Sam and Oskin, I don't know what happened to him again. Then Reggie Fogelman right there in second. If they stay where they are, Reggie Fogelman will take the points lead. Then Kirin Jimenez right there in 5th or... Because Roger Fogelman and a actually April Alport still right there so it might be an interesting battle. Green flag is back in the air. And literally, L Brandon Bill being the uh, chicane of the year I guess. But look at that. Len Smith Jr. trying to go to the path to the inside of... Of Matthew Hubert is right there but nope he won't be able to pass just yet but he is going to lead the lap right here here's a good battle here between Kirin Jimenez, Reggie Fogelman, the teammates at Robleton Hartman Racing the third to last race for the team so let's see if they can do something right here and looks like someone Looks like we do have four playoff drivers in the battle here. Again, Reggie Fogelman, Abra Alford, there. These guys are battling for the points lead here, as you can see. Or maybe, maybe, just maybe, the number one of Abra Alford might be able to. Oh no! The teammates holding. Did. No! Benny Moore holds this teammate off. This might actually ruin the race of Reggie Fogelman. And Lance Smith Jr. is out of here along with Drew Webb. But there's the number 4 of Matthew Hubert. Followed by Reggie Fogelman. And on 5th here is Abraham. For good thing he clears. But I'm not really sure if he could, if he could clear the number 70 of Trey Smith because he is chasing right there. But looks like we do have a battle for the lead uh, here with the 13 of Drew Webb now closing into the number 9 of Landon Smith Jr. So Landon Smith Jr. doesn't have any plans just yet this season. Well, I guess let's just say Landon Smith Jr. trying to get the second win of the season and the fifth win for DM Sports. The number 13 of... Uh, Drew Webb closing into the uh, number 9 of Landon Smith Jr. Trying to get 
Time Fury Racing's first win of the season. Let's check into Nan Stapleton. Where is right now? Right now he's... Oh no, looks like a top break for Jaden Russell here. After starting on the pole, he's just right there at the back. Like he's 21st, I believe, or I don't know. It, now he's about to get passed by Abex Sokolov. Here it is. Battle for the lead here. Drew Webb. Drew Webb and the uh, Lennon Smith Jr. to the inside. Will the 13 clears? Yes, he will. Will the number 13 of Drew Webb get his first win of the season here? Looks like he is trying to. Now he is about to clear. Yes, he will. Newly there, car number 13. The number 4 of Ma Matthew Huber is still closing around. He is trying to close around. As of this moment, as as they're running, Reggie Fogelman leads the points standings with 4 points. Since neither of them led a lap just yet. But they are clear right now. The number 70 of Trey Smith. Number double zero of Tony Brady looks like the Spark Sport cars. It looks like the Spark Sport cars are coming in t in hot and ooh look at that Ella Baker with a not with a uh, huge move into his own teammate Tony Brady. It's gonna be an interesting call. That's an interesting call right here. Ludovic Chirat in the number forty four, trying to end the season with Abel Moore Sports and on a high note. Ooh, Abra Alford at the uh, right there at the dog leg. Bad entry right there. Ooh, I'm not really sure what's going on with the 68 of Benny Moore. But he's out of the race for sure. He's just coming in and out. Of, coming out and back in the in the pit stops uh, for whatever reason. But the number two of Reggie Pokemon trying to go for for second here. Now Avery offered closing into now to the inside. Yes, looks like he will clears the number two of Reggie Pokemon. Will he actually clears Reggie Pokemon? He clears Reggie Fogelman right there. They're all single pile back again. Again, interestingly. By the way, Kirian Jimenez. You know you know what he did to Nathan Stapleton? Play of driver to play of driver. But I guess he got his the taste of his own medicine right there falling. Is running 12 I believe? Or 11th rather. He's running 11th. But here it is. Avery Alford trying to get his second win of the season. Or actually second race in a row. As I, I, sh I should say. So. They're all single foul back again here. But here it is. Well, know what I'm saying here. Ella Baker to the inside of Matthew Hubert for Ford. Looks like, uh, I don't know if Bradley Ream is trying to salvage something here, even though he's a lap car. So, Bradley Ream. Right here to the inside of Little Bit Tourette. I like I don't know if there's something to salvage from from this race for them. But there we go. Well, 12 laps to go, or maybe as we cross to the line, 11 laps to go. But here we go, 11 laps to go here at Phoenix Raceway as the top four are now closing into Drew Webb, and we are going closing into the Brandonville again. Can there be any move here? Benny Moore being a moving chicane literally is just running, ruining a race here. Because here, here we go, he's closing into the lap car of Brandon Bill. 
And now it looks like Avery Alford was able to pass cleanly. Reggie Fogelman being pulled up. Now looks like Little Bit Tourette would be able to pass to the inside of Reggie Fogelman. Will he? But for the race lead, Avery Alford right here, side by side with Drew Webb, trying to get his third win of the season, second straight win probably. But the number zero one up of uh, Ella Baker is still right there. Drew Webb still leading the lap here. Nine laps to go here at Phoenix Raceway. Here's the number one of A. Ralford, but the number zero one of Ella Baker is still right there. Spark Sport trying to get their first win of the season. Reggie Fogelman is back in the fight here. But if they continue to battle that way, looks like maybe the zero maybe the number one Avery Alford would be able to get the points lead here. If he would be able to pass the number 13 of Drew Webb, I don't know. But I wasn't really sure about that. But Kira and Jimenez right there in ten in ninth. Well, the number 26 of Kitty and Jimenez move is really controversial as we're closing into a lap car. Maybe this is the right opportunity for Avery Alford to go past to the inside as being held up by Cole Raymond here in the number 24 but looks like he's playing in the middle. And now to the inside, Avery Alford to the inside but the number 13 still has a run here but still being held up. New leader car number 1 but the number 01 of Ella Baker now to the inside. Trying to go past to the inside, maybe. Here we go. Ella Baker to the inside of the zero in the number one of Avery Alford. He will take or she will take the lead right now. Gentlemen, move over. Looks like the lady is right here on the lead. With five laps to go here at the Phoenix Race for the running of the 2023 Circle K 500 Maybe just maybe little bit Charat coming in hot here this guy from Canada Canada They're side by side. I mean they have to do something right here I mean the number 44 little bit Charat not helping at all Ella Baker is pulling away four laps to go for Ella Baker now another lap car but in a way here Jason Lona in the number 41 Jason Lona Is he trying to I don't know Anyway We're coming into 3 to go 3 to go for Ella Baker We are closing into the uh, 41 of oh no looks like oh no he's taking the high side Jason Lonin in is coming to the pits he's running out of fuel she's running out of fuel she couldn't finish the race here Ludovic Charette takes the lead here two laps to go for Ludovic Charette that was interesting Ella Baker wouldn't be able to finish the race that was interesting or maybe looks like little bit Charette now pulling away here no he's running off fuel he's coming in the pits as well no way here we go looks like coming out into the white flag here for Avery Alford in the number one three um, Chevrolet for Checker Black Motorsports trying to get his second straight win of the season or sorry second straight win third win of the season no one could ever catch into the number one but here it is he will more likely to take the points lead here he Reggie Fogelman tried his best but coming out of three and four Avery Alford second straight win third win of the season here at Phoenix Raceway how about that I could have sworn but this but the number one 
of Avery Alford did what in the world? But oh dear, what an interesting race. So here's the standings after this race. Avery Alford wins, Trey Smith finishes second, Reggie Fogman in third. Drew Webb fourth, Kirian Jimenez in fifth, Kirian Jimenez with, we all know he made a uh, controversial, I don't know, but maybe uh, it, there's going to be an announcement against Kirian Jimenez, but who knows. So one of Arca had a piston problem, he is engine one Kamuma for sure. So wow, what a race. As well, no. So maybe a miracle would happen. I don't know. So twenty-three races done, and uh, two more races here left for the season: Auto Club and Atlanta. So again, more likely. The number one of Avery Alford would more likely to take the points lead after this one. So here we go. Let's see the point standings after this race. So here we go. Looks like here's how standings look like after 22 races. Avery Alford, as mentioned, he will take the points lead over Reggie Fogelman. But Reggie Fogelman is still right there with 4 points behind. Tony Brady hanging around 18 points behind. Gideon Jimenez with a controversial move to Nathan Stapleton 20 points behind. Jaden Russell 38 points behind. Uh, Bradley Ream 39 points behind. Angel Gutierrez 45 points behind. Anthony Nichols 69 points behind. Nice. Eric Monaco 73 points behind. Benny Moore 74 points behind. Nathan Stapleton 76. And just Josiah Robinson is officially eliminated 126 points behind. What the well anyway. <laughs> well anyway, looks like that's the race for us here. So looks like we're going to see you again next uh, next week at Auto Club Speedway at Mount Fontana, California. We're running off the Planet Hollywood 400. But hey, it is what it is. So congratulations again to a Rob Ford for winning. Well, this is going to be interesting as we are closing into this season. So Avery Alford, will he win the championship after this one? So thank you guys very much again for watching, and so long everyone, congratulations to Avery Alford.